Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to another redstone video behind me We got an automatic potion brewing station and to this side We have the same brewing machine except it does three ingredients instead of two We're gonna do a quick demo of both these machines. We're gonna, we're gonna do a block by block build tutorial So stick around for that for those of you who want a world download or a light Manica schematic The link will be for both of those in the description below Make sure to click those if you're interested in those and make sure you hit the like and subscribe button if you choose to go that route other than that, uh, here's the overview, and then we're gonna get to this part over here doing the block by block build. So here is our brewing stand. We have some hoppers here, this hopper at the bottom and the back side here. Uh, this is locked and unlocked via this pulse extender, which gets triggered by this observer when it gets pushed down. We have our hopper clock right here, which will fire off this observer into this piece of sand, so provided the sand is pulled down with the sticky piston into this repeater, which will trigger off all of our mechanics, such as putting the items into the dropper that's above, sorry, the hopper that's right here via this dropper and also fire off our pulse extender. Up here is some redstone wiring to make sure that we have our uh, piston here locked in the position and as well as this one, make sure that both locked when we have the conditions met right. And those conditions happen to be if this barrel, this barrel, this barrel, or this barrel are empty, or if this double chest down here is full like it is right now. Since it's full right now, it has turned the machine off, so it's not trying to make more potions. This build over here is the exact same thing, except we have an extra dropper right here speeding in redstone. Um, redstone is one of the modifiers you can do. This happens to uh, increase the duration of the splash potion of weakness. This one is four minutes. This one over here says that it's a minute 30. So this is just in case you want to add some extra time to your potion effect. And along with the that major difference, these, this one does not have a redstone torch here or a redstone lamp. Those are the major differences. That is the quick overview, uh, just down and dirty. And then we're going to get down to building this block by block right over here on this next one. Again, if you like this video, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe. And then also the, the world download and light medica schematic are going to be in the link below. So make sure you click those if you're interested. And so the, for the block by block tutorial, we're going to be using the light Matica, um, mod, if you would, and we're going to be doing this layer by layer. For those of you who are new to Minecraft, I'll be doing, I'll be naming all these blocks and placing down it might seem kind of repetitive, but this is for the more so for the newer players. If you are more experienced, I apologize for repeating things you already know. So we're going to get down to it. Uh, double chest right here. Let's get down to it. Double chest. We're going to do some comparators use wool blocks. Now this wool block, you don't have to use wool. You can use anything you want. That's a solid block that can conduct a redstone signal. So I'm gonna put a redstone torch on, on the back side of this wool block. Here we go. Here is a hopper pointed into this double chest. We have a target block here. We got some redstone dust. We have another torch right here. Repeater on four ticks, another comparator and a wool block, wool block. And this layer is almost done. Just kidding. We have one hopper pointed into this comparator here. Now, what we're going to do for this hopper, the reason why it's there is we're going to take one, two, three, four, five. We're going to take five of these and throw them in here. You don't have to use potions. You can use water bottles. Anything that's not stackable, you can use in there. That'll give a good comparator signal for what comes out of this chest. So it can either power and turn off this torch or not. Okay, so that is layer one done. Let's do layer two. We have our potion brewing stand. We're going to be putting a hopper into this side, facing into it, as well as this side. There we go. And we have a slab coming off of this one. This will be holding a comparator later. We have wool block and a wool block and then a redstone torch again. We have a composter on top of our hopper to keep uh, hopper lag down. That's always a plus. If you can keep hopper lag down, that's that's really good. We have another piece of wool, redstone torch. I get some more wool blocks here. Wool and wool. I'm going to put a observer with the eyes facing towards us. Redstone dust. And redstone dust there, redstone dust here, and up there. This is technically layer three, but we can place it down right now. It's not a big deal. All right, and this layer is done. Next layer. We'll be putting a barrel right here. I choose to use barrels to help produce or help reduce uh, lag. I'm not sure if, if it's a mechanic anymore to use uh, barrels versus double chests, but uh, this is also something that can power. Um, it can power redstone signal if you needed to. So uh, I do think barrels have a good unique function uh, in a lot of scenarios. Anyway, so compared to right here, um, more solid blocks. In this case, again, we're using wool. Wool right there, torch, torch, repeater on default. So one tick, note block, wool and wool, redstone, 
uh, torch, and then we're going to use this to keep us in right here facing down. And that should be layer three. I don't think I forgot anything on this layer. All right, next layer. This is going to be a dropper. Dropper right here, dropper facing this way. So dropper should be facing that way. All right. So another hop, hopper point into there. We got another slab, wool, wool, block. I just call it a block. Uh, redstone torch, wool, wool, and we'll do a sticky piston. A lot more wool, uh, no block. We're gonna put a hopper facing straight down right there. That should go into the barrel. We have a sticky piston, oops, sticky piston. And then we have an observer with the eyes facing to the left. Now we're gonna be doing another wool block right here. This is where we start working on our hopper clock. So here's a comparator. These two comparators, comparators should be facing away from each other. We have our hoppers. We want these facing into each other. If you're in vanilla, uh, this is what you'll be doing. This is a vanilla build, but we also have the, uh, the tweakaroo mod so I can place these however I want. But if you're in a vanilla, just straight vanilla build, this is what you do. You face them like that, break this one face them into the each, each other. So they'll be facing each other like that. Make sure the nozzles are as such. And that is that layer. This layer is done. So next layer, another dropper right here. I'm gonna face that down. Barrel, comparator, another block. Uh, redstone torch right here. Wool, wool, wool. And then we're gonna be placing um, a hopper facing into this dropper. Get a piece of glass, place it right there. Piece of glass, piece of glass. Whoops, place it right there. And get a observer face it, face it. Uh, whoops, down. So the dots should be facing up. We're gonna get our slab, place it there. Now, now we need a water bucket. Just gonna grab a water bucket, right click on this slab. We're gonna we're going to water log it. Redstone dust. Uh, repeater on four ticks. And we put a piece of sand right there on top of that piston. I'm gonna put a piece of redstone dust here and right here, as well as up here, all over these ones. So it should look like, like this, should be something like that. And then we're going to place our pistons down. So one piston right there, one piston right there. It's a redstone block right there. And we're gonna place our observer into that. And that should be the that should be that layer. This should be done. All right, next layer. We're actually nearing the end here, so another barrel. Gonna do another um, slab right here up top. Another comparator right there. Let's go. Some wool. Torch. Torch. Block right there. And then let's see no block right here. That's not the right spot. No block right there. Sticky piston. This right here is, is not a dropper. This one's going to be a dispenser. We're going to face that down. This is what's going to fill the uh, glass bottles with water and turn them into water bottles. And this part is just about done. Yep. One more layer. All right. So comparator, comparator, redstone dust, torch observer and then honey block now this block right here can be honey block or a slime block it doesn't matter both of them work whichever one you have in your survival world will work you're gonna put a redstone lamp right there another uh barrel right there and that i believe is the build no it's not this block right here was missing there we go so the comparator reads how full this barrel is through the block that's why we have it there all right, so that is the build. I'm gonna do some prep work to get this thing fired off and then we'll um, demo it and just make sure it's working like the other ones. So over here we have, um, for this one that uses two ingredients, we have 64 and 45. We're gonna do the exact same thing over here. We're gonna do 64 and 45. I choose to use redstone personally, but you can use any item that's stackable up to 64. It really doesn't matter. So 64. And 45. Let's just make this stack of 45 here real quick. 64, 45. Boom. There we go. And I'll go back and forth while um, so long as the machine is not locked. Right now it is locked but using this uh, redstone torch as well as this wiring up here. So we're going to get this prep so that it unlocks and then starts brewing stuff. So 
in our chest right here. We're going to be using blaze powder, which is right here. Then we're going to use our two ingredients for this one. We have splash potions of weakness being made. So we're going to be using gunpowder as well as fermented spider eyes. Then we'll get our glass bottles ready as well. So glass bottles and all right, here we go. So in here, blaze powder, blaze powder comes from the side. Water bottles also come from the side. So we'll do the blaze powder and we'll also do the water bottles up here or rather the glass bottles, glass bottles go up here. And what we're going to do, we're also going to fill up these, uh, this dispenser with glass bottles. This is one of the prep work things you want to do is make sure that there's no space in there at all. It's, it's all full of glass bottles stacks. Cause if it's not full and you fire this machine off, you'll have some empty space and some of these will turn into singular water bottles, which is not cool. Not what you want. All right. For these next two pieces right here, this will be your ingredients for making the potions. Again, this is a specifically making a splash potion of weakness. So we're going to be filling this with a uh, gunpowder and fermented spider eyes. In this case, for this specific potion, it doesn't matter which order they go in. So which order they enter this dropper in or the brewing stand, it, it doesn't matter. So uh, it will still make splash potions a weakness. Now that, that's not true for all the potions out there, especially the more ingredients you use, you might want to make sure that depending on which order they come in to this, uh, this hopper, you may want to switch them around, do some testing yourself, uh, just depending on what kind of potion you want to make. So that is the build. It should be, she should be ticking here soon. So this hopper clock should be going, which it is. It's almost ready to fire off about 26 more items to go and then we'll see it, uh, fire off and we'll have it put three bottles here onto this brewing stand. And then after another cycle kicks off, it'll put those into the chest. Yep. It's brewing right now. And then it'll put a new set of bottles onto the stand. We'll let that go for a minute. Um, yeah. So just a quick note, we do build this on our SMP or rather we did build this on our SMP and, uh, we use this to distribute potions throughout our entire villager trading hall, which is actually built also into our massive storage system, which is built around the perimeter of our spawn chunk. So, this is what we actually needed. We needed a splash potion of weakness with just a small duration just to get them the, the, the debuff. This build over here is used just in case you want to add an extra duration to it. Again, it doesn't have to be splash potion of weakness, but it could be anything else you want that requires three ingredients. And we'll probably be doing a, a video next time to show how this is incorporated to our storage system. Again, small scaled version, not, uh, not on the actual server. This one, oh, it's actually fired off. There's some in here. Some things to note. One thing to note, especially if this, this might seem like it's not supposed to work this way, but it does, is that this hopper will always catch an item. This hopper will always have an item in, in here unless you manually clear it out. That's because the amount of time it takes for this, uh, this pulse extender to fire off, to unlock and lock these hoppers, these two, it doesn't allow enough time for that last bottle to escape. So uh, over time, you will have this hopper fill up, which is, which is fine. It's not a big deal. Um, at the end, all the items will end up in the chest like it's supposed to be. You won't end up have you will not end up having anything wasted. So that is that. And yeah, that's all three. These two machines are exactly the same. This one is the one again with our third ingredient. Um, I, think I gave you a nice little overview uh, or walk around on how that's all set up. Not much of a difference. Just two torches up here, repeater, and this piece. Of course, this dropper's face it in that dropper and this hopper will pull the items out as as it can and that's it all right everyone if you made it to the end of the video thank you for watching and remember to hit that like button and subscribe i'll be doing some more videos in the future and if you do find this video useful you decide to use this in your smp world single world whatever you have and or if you decide to modify it please 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 uh film me a link to your youtube or some screenshots and discord video whatever discord link will be also be in the description down below so be sure to share that i'd like to see what people can tweak with my builds and uh, make better. So until next time, everyone, happy Minecrafting, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.